professor of linguistics. I have been in this department since 1963. My association with the British Council, I would say, dates back to even when they didn't know me and I knew them through the library. The British Council Library was a useful resource for young aspiring students like me who had to study at home in order to take GCE and things like that. So I would leave my house in the morning, go to the British Council Library at Dubé in Ibadan and walk there till evening as it were. I have um, worked with the British Council on a number of occasions. Uh, the British Council, I think twice, have sponsored my um, trip to the UK to see the art. Um, and one of the occasions to uh, actually study pre pre uh, um, to study um, printmaking, prints in the, in the British Museum. So I, 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 I have interacted separately with uh, the, the British Council people, attending the program, whether it's the drama or, or art exhibition uh, or some other occasions uh, 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 where artists, cultural engineers, and other people are summoned together. In 1966, when the Ford Foundation um, sponsored a survey of English language teaching in Nigeria, uh, the then director of British Council in Nigeria, uh, Peter Corson, um, Frank Corson, sorry, not Peter, Frank Corson, was uh, one of the group of people who joined uh, under the leadership of uh, Jacobs. Robert Jacobs is an American. There were only two Nigerians among the team, the late Professor Fafunwa and myself. We did this uh, survey of English language teaching in Nigeria. That's another contact with the British Council. <laughs> Uh, my art covers very wide area. First is painting, second is a, a pre-baking, third is a mixed media, and lately uh, I'm branching into sculpture. I travel to my, my trip, sponsored by the British Council to the UK, has been a, of a tremendous uh, uh, help in my move forward and the development of my art. I, I, I'd like to congratulate uh, the British Council for the enduring work they've done. And um, in particular, I want to emphasize what I see as a new trend in the work of the British Council. Uh, the British Council CEO, uh, Martin Davidson, uh, talking to the group, this language uh, conference which was held in Cape Town, drew attention to how the British Council has moved away from promoting English language to really looking at the totality of the languages in a country. So they are more interested now even in African languages in relation to English. So I would say to them, uh, they should continue along those lines. Floriat, British Council. <laughs> <laughs> the greatest parasatas of the British or the UK government. Uh, it's, uh, 
involved with education, is involved with the art, and um, it uh, it's, it's extended to nearly all the corners of the world. Uh, the British Council therefore uh, plays the role of uh, uh, ambassador, British ambassador at large, involved with uh, public relations, involved with uh, education, involved with the molding of minds, and involved with world peace. That is British Council. <laughs>